the police are seeking to retry Malcolm Rewa for the murder of Auckland woman Susan Burdett. Rewa, a convicted serial rapist, was tried twice for the 1992 murder, but neither jury was able to reach a verdict. Taina Pora spent 21 years in jail for the killing before his convictions were overturned in 2015. The police commissioner, Mike Bush, says that the decision to stay the prosecution of Rewa was subsequently reviewed and the Solicitor General has now agreed to apply to the High Court to have him retried. Rhonda McCarty was raped by Malcolm Rewa two weeks before Susan Burdett's murder in 1992. She'd withdrawn money from an ATM in the Auckland suburb of Parnell and got back into her car when she was hit violently and repeatedly on the back of her head with a blunt weapon. Rhonda told the police she pretended she was unconscious as she endured the attack and she believed that probably saved her life. Speaking a short time ago, Rhonda told me that 25 years on, she's relieved about today's news. Um, I'm surprised because I, after what was said last year, I honestly thought it was a lost cause. I thought they'd, they'd given up and I had, I had basically come to the acceptance that it was probably never going to happen, so I had let it go. But um, now that we've had, we've got this news. Um, firstly, I think some phenomenal news for her family. I, I'm really, really, really happy for Susan Burdett's family. I think this is amazing for them. And I think everybody that's spoken out about it over the last few years really needs to take some credit, you know, because we've all played a part in, in bringing this to fruition. And th and that includes you. And that includes you telling a story that not many victims of these sorts of crimes want to tell in public. Mm, mm, that's right. And I think, um, you know, when I was looking, thinking back recently, actually, it's been 25 years, and I was thinking, what's really changed in 25 years? And in terms of sexual abuse, sexual assault, rape, and really the only thing that's changed in our society is the fact that now more people are starting to talk about it, but it's just as prolific as it ever was. And I think the only way we're going to change anything is if we do start you know, having more of a conversation about it, and that requires more people to come forward and tell their story, and it has to start somewhere. So. Rhonda, can I just back you up uh, about a minute or so to what you were saying about the fact that you had given up on this, on the police taking this course of action? Why had you given up on it? Was it because you thought the police were reluctant to do this or was it something else? Um, I think this, the, the reaction at the time was, well, we don't have that. They just were very cut and dry. We don't have any evidence. We're not going to do this. And I think I got the sense, like a lot of people, that you know, Malcolm Rewa is in, in prison. He's probably never going to get out. Why go to the expense and the trouble of a, a trial? Um, it's too much of a hassle, it's just not necessary. That was sort of the feeling that I got, like I think a lot of people got at the time. And it was just they, they didn't seem open-minded to even considering it last year, so um, I just didn't think that they ever would at that point. And so this means something, doesn't it? It means something to you because whilst and I absolutely want to say on the record again, there have been no charges laid. You know, this is this may not go ahead. And if it does go ahead, Malcolm Rewa has the right to a fair trial. But to somebody, I mean, Malcolm Rewa was, was found guilty of his terrible attack on you. And he is serving prison time for that. So, and as a victim of Rewa, this matters, doesn't it? I think it, it matters to me personally because at the time that I was attacked, I was quite sure he was capable of killing me. That's, that's, that's what I felt intuitively at the time. And um, I, I honestly believe my life was in danger. And so for him to, for the police to be even open to retrying him for the murder of the woman that he raped two weeks after me is a, is a really big deal, I think. And it was only two weeks after you? It was. It was exactly two weeks later, 14 days. And, um, I mean, I can still remember when the police called me, um, you know, it was back in 96, to tell me that they had caught my, my assailant and who he was and that he'd been, he was being charged with many other rapes. And when they mentioned to me that he was also being tried, this is the first time for Susan Burdett's rape and murder, and that was two weeks after my attack, I mean, I, it really did give me chills at the time when I heard that. Can we... Uh, it, it, it's... 
it's so rare for people who have been through what you've been through to want to be able to talk on the record about it. And so if I'm crossing any lines, you just say, stop now. Not at all, not I, at all. I, I mean, look, John, one of the reasons that I, I mean, I've learned over the years that one of the reasons that I felt that it was really important to put a face and a name to my story is because there are so many other women and men out there that go through something similar. They, they're really struggling. And they. I think there's a lot of people that think that they'll always just be a survivor and they'll never get past it to really... You know, flourish in their life, and that's just simply not true. So this is quarter of a century, right? Quarter of a century ago. Exactly. And mm -hmm. have you managed to get past it? Oh, a long time ago. Yeah, I've, I've, I mean, my life has been, well, I won't say normal, I think it's been better than normal um, for a really long time, and, um, you know, it, it really is possible. It really comes down to, well, there's like a whole host of host of things, which I won't, obviously, it's not the appropriate forum to get into now, but it really, you really can move beyond this. It is a choice. If you believe that you can move beyond it and flourish in your life again, then you will. But you just have to believe. It is possible fully here. I think there's a lot of people that have this might they have this belief for whatever reason that they'll never be they'll never get past it and that's simply not true. Rhonda McCarty talking to us a short time ago.